Hello and welcome back to day five of our freedom retreat and today we're in the element of water and obviously I'm very lucky because I'm in this element of water but you can think about this wherever you're in contact with water. Think about how much pleasure a small child gets with water play just with a bowl of water and maybe a yogurt pot. And I want you to make the association so that what we're going to talk about in a minute, maybe you're going to connect it with water. And every time you taking a shower, running the tap to the, the kettle, having any connection with water, then that can be a trigger for you to remember what we were talking about and maybe enact it in your life. And the context for that is presence and being present and it's very tempting and it's very normal in western society that we're always looking either to the future and all the things we could worry about that are going to happen or might be going to happen or in extreme circumstances could just about possibly happen or we're looking back at the past and all the things that maybe would have gone differently if we had the chance or the things that we regret. Or maybe we're looking back at the past with nostalgia and wishing we were still there. But either way, we're losing out on this present moment. And this is the one we really have in our hand right now. And we talk about somebody having presence. When she came in the room, she had a lot of presence. And we can create that for ourselves by being truly present by feeling the water trickling through our fingers, by noticing the ripples as it hits the, the surface. Those are very fleeting moments, the way we might feel when we're watching a sunset or see a rainbow. We know that it's very short-lived, and so we really treasure it. We, we want to have as much as we can of it and really drink it in. I want to think about that, that we could be drinking in every moment and getting so much more out of it. And I'm going to share three movements with you, which normally you would do their Kundalini Yoga movements. Normally you would do them for about five minutes each, and you might want to do that yourself afterwards. We'll do them for a much shorter time, so that we can demonstrate within our time we have together. So for the first one, you do what's called a, a mudra in yoga, where you have a particular hand position. And this one, you have your fists clenched, with the exception of your middle finger, which is sticking up. Yeah, I know, but in a different way. And stretch your arms out. It's really important that your elbows are straight. If you do this, then you're gonna change the energy of the movement. So try and keep your arms out straight. Relax into your stance, and we're going to make small circular movements as you breathe at your normal rhythm, in and out through your nose. Close your eyes if you want to, so you can focus more on the movement. And really stretch that finger, stretch your fingers out in opposite directions. You're trying to be as wide as you can be. And this fairly simple movement then is helping to open up our chest and our heart to counterbalance all the time we spend hunched over, over a computer, over our phone, or slumped on a sofa maybe. So we've got a straight back opening. Keep breathing. We'll do a few more of those. So you can imagine if you're doing this for five minutes, you would really start to feel something. You might be, I'm starting to feel it already in my tops of my shoulders and tops of my arms. And if it's five minutes, then it really takes some commitment and some self-belief to keep going, but it's worth it if you can and you'll feel great afterwards. And this is releasing anxiety. How can you be in the present moment? 
<sighs> hold it, take a deep breath in, pull up your pelvic floor, hold in your tummy, hold in the breath. Keep your arms where they are and exhale. One more breath. In, pull in your tummy, pull up your pelvic floor, clench your buttocks, keep it all squeezed in. And relax. Right, now, number two. For this one, you're going to put your left hand on your heart. Remember to do it the opposite way to mirroring me. Your right hand, you curl your fingers up so they're like a little cup, like you're trying to hold water in the cup. Keep your elbow tucked into your waist. And with this one, we're going to inhale, and as you exhale, imagine that you maybe got something in your hand that you don't want, and you're throwing it over your shoulder. Yeah. Inhale back down, and exhale. And you can use the mantra, har, for that. Har. 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 You can feel it vibrate in your chest while you're doing that. The hand that's on your heart. You're really squeezing out all the tension, the anxiety, the feelings that don't serve you, that don't help your immune system, or your resilience, or your peace of mind. Har. 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 Feel the har coming right up from your belly. Har, 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 And you see how you have to focus quite hard to do this move. And that's bringing you into the here and now. Right here, right now. Har, har, har. Har, like the way you want to be when you're talking to somebody, or the way you want them to be when you're talking to them. You don't want them to be half talking to you and half away off in their mind somewhere else thinking about something else altogether. You could be completely in the present. Have presence. Har, 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 har. Ten more. Har, har. Har, 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 and last one, hold your hand up, again clench in, your buttocks, your pelvic floor, your belly, squeezing the new energy you've created up your spine, filling your whole body up to the crown of your head. Good. And there's one more, and for this one, we're gonna have our hands, so that just your middle finger is folded in, and you put your thumb on top of it. And as you make the move, you're going to flick your thumb, your finger out from under your thumb. Flick. Flick. And we're gonna do that with both hands, and we're gonna make the har sound again. Keep your elbows tucked in. Keep your elbows as much as you can parallel to the ground. And here we go. Har, 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 Pull in your belly as you reach exhale as well. Get even more out of this. Har, 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 har. We're pulling in with the exhale with the har. And then just letting your breath come in naturally. Har, 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 
purr and your tongue rolling against the roof of your mouth, that's stimulating the connection between our energy systems. Our internal and external energy connects just behind our teeth, that ridge on the roof of your mouth. It's good to stimulate that. Her, 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 you know, her, 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 and squeeze it in, hold it all in, squeeze it up your spine, up your neck, up to the crown of your head. Exhale. One more. Pull it in, squeeze in your buttocks, your pelvic floor, your belly. Squeeze the good energy up to the crown of your head and let it go. And that's it. So if you remember, as you go about your day, use the water, any contact with water, to remind you to be present to feel that moment as that drop falls because that's never coming back. We have that right here, right now. Namaste.